In this video, we will understand different methods to improve crop. Friends, why do we eat food? To get energy, right? But have you ever thought where this food comes from? Who makes them? Well, humans get food from trees, plants and animals. So, what do we get from trees? We get fruits and vegetables. And what do we get from animals? Animals provides egg, meat and milk. And by combining all these, we prepare different varieties of food. Vegetables and fruits provides small amount of protein, carbohydrates and fats in addition to vitamins and minerals. Grains like wheat, rice and maize provides us with carbohydrates for our energy needs. Pulses like gram, pea, black gram provide protein. And soybean, groundnut, oil seeds including sesame provides essential fats. Well, we got to know how important fruits and vegetables are for the human body. Friends, but the population is increasing day by day and with the increase in population, the demand for food is also increasing. In order to meet this, the quality and production of the crop should be increased. But have you ever thought how it can be possible? Let's know how. Can it be done by improving variety of crops? Can it be done by increasing crop production? Just think. Yes, friend. The crop improvement can be done by increasing the crop variety and by increasing its production. Is there any other way by which we can improve the crops? Yes, friends. Crop improvement can also be done by protecting the crop too. So, let's understand all these topics in detail. Friends, do you know what is the identity of a good crop? The crop should be immune towards diseases, high production, and it should be of good quality. And one way to include all these desired features is hybridization. So guys, do you know what this hybridization is? Come, let's understand. Suppose you have two types of trees, A and B. Tree A gives high yield and is less resistant towards disease, while tree B gives low yield and is highly resistant to disease. So, what qualities do you need for a good harvest? Just think, a tree which has high yield and is highly resistant towards disease. But how can we get these two properties? By hybridization. In this method, scientists treat the seeds of both plants in a scientific manner and create a new seed which has the desired properties of both the seeds. So what kind of tree will it be with new seeds, high yield and high resistance towards diseases? Do you know the other ways by which crops can be improved? The crops can also be improved by the use of good and healthy seeds and by using genetically modified seeds. So friends, by hybridization and by genetically modified, we can make better seeds. But what should be the properties of a good seed? Can you tell me? Properties such as high yield, having more nutrients like carbohydrates, proteins, resistance towards disease caused by living organisms, resistance towards disease caused by non-living organisms like heat, cold, drought and short maturity period. All these qualities should be in a good seed. So friends, you have learned how to improve the variety of crop and now we will know how to improve the crop production. We all know that we need food for our growth. Do plants also require nutrients for their growth? Just think, yes, plants need nutrients for their growth. And do you know they can get nutrients from where? Tell, yes, from air, water and soil. Most of the trees get nutrients from the soil like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, calcium, etc. Do you know what nutrients the tree gets from air and water? Think, trees get carbon, oxygen and hydrogen from air and water. All these nutrients help plant to grow. Friends, what if the soil is short of nutrients? Just think. 
trees will not grow well, right? In such cases, manures and fertilizers are added to the soil to increase yield. Friends, do you know what these manures and fertilizers are? Let's know. You must have seen farmers adding black matter to the soil before sowing seeds. The same dark matter is called manure. The fertilizers are prepared by decomposing dead plants, animal waste, vegetable waste, etc. which makes the soil rich. Manure are of two types. compost and vermicompost and the other is green manure in compost and vermicompost process vegetable waste animal feces household waste etc are decomposed in pits it is known as compost to increase this decomposition process earthworms are also used and this is called vermicompost what does green manure now Before sowing the seeds of the crop some plants like sun hemp or guar are grown and then buried in the soil and mulched These green plants thus turn into green manure which helps to enrich the soil and fertilizer is a chemical substance that contains nutrients like nitrogen potassium and phosphorus which when added to the soil increases the fertility of the soil but friends Use of more fertilizers leads to water pollution. Fertilizers are washed away due to excessive irrigation which are not completely absorbed by the plants. This excess fertilizer gets carried away with water and mixed with the surrounding water bodies causing water pollution. Do you know what else plants need for their growth? Apart from nutrients, plants require adequate water. and good methods of growing crops but how let's understand friends there are two lands a and b here plants in land a are adequately watered while in land b plants are not adequately watered in which land do you think will plants grow properly land a absolutely right so what did you know from this Water is very essential for plant growth. Do you know where plants get water from? Think. Plants get water naturally from rain and artificially from wells, canals, tanks, etc. Friends, do you know that crop production can be increased by using different methods of growing crops? Let's know how. Crop production can be increased by using different crop pattern. For example, mixed cropping, intercropping, crop rotation. Let us know about these methods in detail. Mixed cropping. In this method, different types of plants are grown in the same field. Intercropping. In this method, two or more crops are grown at the same time in a land in a certain row pattern. Crop rotation. In this method, different types of plants are grown in a cyclic manner on the same land. This is done so that soil is not used for only one set of nutrients and it increases crop production. So you have seen how crop production can be increased in various ways. Let us now understand how crops can be improved by protecting the crop. Friends, if you look carefully at the grown cropland, then you can see small unnecessary plants growing with the crop. Well, these are called weeds. Do you think this weed is harmful to crop? These weeds compete for water, sunlight, space and nutrients. Therefore, it is very important to remove this weed. Do you know apart from weeds, what can damage crops? Just think. Yes, apart from this, insects, pests and diseases also destroy the crops. Diseases in crops are caused by bacteria, fungi and viruses. Do you know how we can protect the crops from them? By spraying chemicals such as pesticides, herbicides and fungicides. Friends, if the crop is not stored properly after harvesting, it also destroys the crop. Therefore, grains should be stored properly. Do you know how to store grains? 
The grains can be stored by spraying chemicals and drying them in sunlight before storing, which keeps away all insects, mice, and microorganisms. So, what did we learn in this video? Improvement in crop variety, crop production management, crop protection. In next video, we will study about animal husbandry. Welcome all of you to this video. We studied about how to improve crops. Come, let's study about animal husbandry. Friends, you must have seen the cattle farm, chicken farm at various places. In all these animals, like cows, chicken, etc. are kept at one place and they are taken care. Can you explain why this is done? Friends, apart from increasing crop production, we should also take care of animals so that we can get maximum food from them. Taking care of animals for meat, egg and milk is called animal husbandry. So, let's know about animal husbandry in detail. First, cattle farming. Friends, what do we get? From animals like cows and buffaloes, we get milk from them. Do cows and buffaloes provide us anything other than milk? Well, they help in ploughing of field and transportation. Do you know what the female milking animals are called? They are called milch animals. And animals that are used for transportation and tillage are called Dot animals. If you talk about female animals, do you think they always give milk? Think about it. No, the female animal give milk only after the birth to a calf. And that particular period is called lactation period. Do you know how to increase milk production? Think. The production of milk can be increased by increasing the duration of lactation period. Friends, we have known that through hybridization, crops of desired properties can be obtained. Can this hybridization be possible in animals as well? Can a species with desired properties be obtained in animals also by hybridization? Yes, friends, hybridization is also possible in animals. For example, Jersey, brown Swiss are the species with high lactation period. And red Zindi, Sahiwal are the species with high immunity. If the results of both the breeds are seen in the calf, then the calf will have both the properties. That is, longer duration of lactation period and higher resistance towards disease. Friends, you know that in cattle farming, Cleanliness and catering of animals are also taken care of. The animals are regularly brushed to remove dirt and loose hair from the body. And the animals are provided with ventilated roofing, which also protects them from heat, cold and rain. Friends, do you know what is fed to these animals? Animals are fed with fodder and concentrates. Coarse feed contains mostly fibers and concentrate mostly contain high levels of proteins and other nutrients. Do you know besides this what they are given to eat? In addition to such nutritious food ingredients, micronutrients are given to promote animal health and milk production. Friends, as human get sick, do animals also get sick? Yes, friends, but do you know what is done to protect animals from different kinds of diseases? Just think. Animals are vaccinated against viruses and bacterial infections. So this was all about cattle farming. Now, 
let's understand about poultry farming friends we came to know that we get milk from cows and buffaloes do you know what we get from chicken we get eggs and meat from chicken and to increase the amount of eggs and meat chickens should be taken care of and this is called poultry farming the egg laying hen is called layers and the meat giving hen is called broilers guys what do you think is the hybridization possible on these chickens well hybridization is also possible in chickens in order to get the desired properties for example hybridization is done between a seal and foreign leghorns in order to obtain desired properties like higher numbers and good quality of chickens tolerance to high temperatures and reduction in size of egg laying birds guys what do you think layers and broilers are raised in the same way no they are raised in different manner for good growth rate broilers are fed with protein fat and vitamin rich supplements and sent to the market for meat purposes and the layers are provided with right amount of protein and minerals for egg laying such as wheat salt corn sunflower seeds etc cleanliness is taken care of in cattle farming cleanliness is also taken care of in poultry farming germicide is also sprayed and chickens are vaccinated to keep them disease free so this is all about poultry farming let us know about fish production now do you know that fish crabs prawns etc are very good source of protein and are consumed by large section of populations especially in the coastal region but where do humans catch fish humans catch fish from sea water and it is called fishing fishes are caught from the sea with the help of nets friends what can be done in order to increase fish production let's know about this fish production can be increased by fish culture in this method the selected kinds of fishes are grown with care in limited areas of lake or sea do you know what kind of fish are caught in sea water fish like pomfret mackerel tuna sardine and bombay duck are caught in the sea the marine fish of high economic value are also cultivated in sea water such as millet bethki prawns mussels as well as seaweed apart from these fish are also caught from canals ponds reservoirs and rivers but the yield is very low so in these cases fish culture is done do you know that fish culture is also done with rice crops so that fish can grow in water provided to the crop this system is called composite fish culture in this system five or six species of fish are used in a single pond and species of fish are selected so that there is no competition for food among them and food available in all parts of the pond is used as cattle takes its food from the surface of the pond rohu on the central region of the pond mrigals and common carps take their food from the bottom these species can simultaneously use all the food in the pond without competition This increases the fish yield in the pond. So friends, this is how fish production is increased. So far, you have learned that we get meat, milk and egg from the animals. Do we get anything else from it? Think about it. Friends, in addition to meat, milk and eggs, we also get honey from animals. But where do we get honey? 
from B. Yes, for this reason, honey is also considered as animal product. Have you ever thought how these bees would make honey? Let's know. Bees sit on various flowers and absorb the nectar present in the flower. Now, this nectar combines with the enzyme present in the mouth of bees, which makes honey and the quality of honey depends on the flowers available to the bees. Friends, honey is beneficial for everyone. It contains nutrients and is rich in antioxidants. In order to increase the production of honey, like other animals, bees are also taken care of. Different types of bees are used in this, such as Apis serena indica, Apis dorsata, Apis flora and Apis mellifera. So friends, since beekeeping requires less investment, farmers also consider it as an additional source of earning. So what did we study in this video? Cattle farming, poultry, fish production and beekeeping.